I mean, that's how I I learned. Uh huh. I drew. I remember drawing a lot of anime. Yeah. So I come from the city, the city of Guadalajara, which Guillermo del Toro is from. Okay. So, and in his interviews, uh, he was talking about how uh, someone decided in our city, and also in Mexico, but in our city to. The TV programs were a lot of Japanese programming. That kind of uh, influenced our own uh, aesthetics in a way. Yeah. Because that's what we, how we learned how to, that's what we wanted to learn to draw, like learn how to draw that. Uh So, I mean, I was, I, I influenced a lot with Japanese anime and manga and this whole, um, well, the way the way the characters are drawn, right? At, at some point, I I used to draw that way, oh. and a lot of my art, uh, like uh, at art school, a lot of the my classmates also used to draw that way. Yeah, it's it, it, it very very much happens that way. It's like the kids will there'll be one popular thing, and all of a sudden, all the kids are drawing it. And at my school, it was. Uh, it was like Hanna Barbera characters, but I want to say I remember when I was much younger. There was a station here. Well, um, actually, I think it was like TBS. It was it was definitely a national station, um, but they had a lot of stuff. I didn't realize that it was it was anime and like different types of live action Japanese TV shows that they were playing here. There was like uh, Space Giants, which was about these this giant robot family, but it was live action. And yeah. then there was uh, Battle of the Planets and things like that. And, and I always thought it was super cool. But growing up, I had no idea that it was imported. I just thought it was it was just a show on TV. Were you aware of the like, were you aware of what the background of what you were watching was? Yeah, because sometimes they would dub the the like the, the songs at the end and sometimes they wouldn't. Oh, really? So we oh, would have so cool. the Japanese version. Okay. Of, of the songs, so yeah, we knew, we knew, and like it was all over TV all day. I mean, we watched you uh, like American cartoons as well, mm-hmm. but the big bulk of it was Japanese. Okay. Yeah. Around what age did you start drawing when you were doing this? Around, I would say seven. Okay. Seven, eight. Yeah, okay. I used to draw a lot of characters. I guess I wanted to become an animator at, at like a very early age. Really? Yeah. Did you ever go into that at all or did you ever try? <laughs> no, but it's something maybe in the future I might experiment with. Okay. Yeah. In, in case this whole painting thing doesn't pan out is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And, but you also, so you, you were you had started out with an influence in anime and and stuff like that, but you also, now you're doing painting and mixed media. So how do you actually go from, I want to be an animator and do anime, but become a painter and a mixed media artist? Like what was your first foray into that sort of realm that actually you kept up with? Well, I guess a lot of it started because, um, when we when we lived in Los Angeles, my dad was he he used to take us to garage sales mm-hmm. like every weekend. I'm listening. And, uh, yeah, I love some garage sales. <laughs> and uh, I know I've seen your post. <laughs> and he would buy like things from like I don't know. He, I mean, he was open to buying things that looked weird. Mm-hmm. Or things that came from other countries, or just things that he found interesting. And so my house was like, we would see different influences all over. Okay. And I guess that somehow, uh, because there were sometimes materials um, that they he kept a lot of things. He wasn't a hoarder. But he kept a lot of things around. So I remember, like, the first time I collaged, I had found his stamp collection Uh somehow. And I decided to make a collage with them. And 
I remember that that was the first time, and I hid it underneath the towels, which was the worst idea because they sh my mom found it like that same day. Yeah. But I remember like the experience of like collaging. Okay. So ever since then, I mean, I've been interested in like using different material to collage, yeah. which is what I still do to this point. Yeah. It, it, the funny thing is, is when you're telling that story now, this is also why I wanted to ask you about mixed media because there's a very similar background there. I also collect things. I collect them because I love these types of objects and I think they're neat. And one thing I'm trying to do to not be a hoarder is to, <laughs> is to try and, uh, th that's why I've been, well, I sell them also to make money, but I sell them. So I stop putting so much value and attachment on them. They're just neat to have. They'll be here forever, but, and I'll forget all about them. But when finally something happens to them or uh, I run across them and my wife is like, Oh, we, can we just throw this out? And I'm like, no, no. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's super cool. I love it. And she, she's like, you didn't know it was there. And when you said you, you found a stamp collection and made a collage instant collage, I was like instantly, Oh no, you use the stamps. You know, <laughs> yeah. 